guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are going to be doing the yearly video of all of my future tattoos and piercings for 2019. Future tattoos and or piercings. Future tattoos and piercings for the year of 2015. Future tattoos and piercings that I possibly have planned for the year 2016. Future tattoos and piercings of 2017. Future tattoos and piercings for 2018. If you can believe this, this is going to be year number five that I have done videos like this. And I find these videos very motivating, very inspiring, because it kind of just gets you fired up for the new year. So that's what we are going to be doing today. I have a list of tattoos and piercings that I want to accomplish in 2019. And I'm just gonna quickly touch on 2018 a little bit and kind of discuss all of the things that I did get and some of the things that I didn't get and the things that I changed my mind on. Um, if you guys want to see that video, I will have it linked up in the corner here. But very quickly, one of the first things in that video is I talked about starting my sleeve. Well, I'm here now um, about 10 months later and I am here to show you guys. I did accomplish that. I am almost, almost done with my sleeve. As you can see, there are a few parts that still need to be done, my elbow being one of them. Uh, this leaf right here and then just more stuff down here. So to kick this video off, that is one of the first things that I'm going to finish in early 2019 is finishing off my sleeve. I wanted to have it completely done by the end of 2018, but you know, with life getting in the way and other expenses getting in the way, I don't always have, you know, the time or the money to go and get sessions on tattoos. I want to say I have maybe maybe only two, one to two sessions left. And basically what we're gonna be tackling is we're gonna be tackling the rest of this cover up down here. I did decide to keep Jackal's name and I am covering up this little flash tattoo. So we're just gonna add a couple more leaves. Um, we're gonna highlight this rose right here and this little bud down here. I did keep this tattoo right here. He did go around it with the flowers there. And then of course the elbow needs to get done. So I think what we're gonna be doing is is just adding a little bit of a background in between everything just to kind of make it look a little more full like it is up here there is there isn't too much negative space up here so I think we are just gonna do something like that so, sorry if you can see like the little Sun like things through here I have my blind shut to block it out but you can still see the, the fuck it the other thing I talked about in my 2018 video is how I wanted to get my eyebrows microbladed that is something that I did accomplish in 2018 for sure. I did go and get my eyebrows professionally microbladed. I had a total of two sessions on them and I absolutely love it. That was honestly one of the best decisions I ever made. Now, I get a lot of questions and a lot of people ask me, you know, why do you still fill in your eyebrows? Now, I want you guys to understand, I only fill in my eyebrows when I do a full face of makeup like I have on today. Now, keep in mind, I do not wear makeup every day. I wear makeup maybe, maybe two times a week, not very much, two to three times a week, four max. Every other time, I don't wear makeup. Um, just because one, I don't feel it necessary. I don't really depend on makeup all that much. And when I don't have makeup on, I have eyebrows because they were microbladed. You can see my eyebrows now, whereas before you couldn't and I had to fill them in every day. But when I am doing like a full face of glam like I am today, and when you're putting on foundation and powder and bronzer and eyeshadow, it can kind of dull down your eyebrows a little bit. So every time I do makeup like this, I do like to fill them in just so they look a little bit darker and a little bit fuller. But when I don't have makeup on, my microbladed eyebrows are perfect. They look great. A couple of the other tattoos that I want to get in 2019. Um, one is going to be very, very sentimental to me. Um, August 24th of 2018, my dad passed away from colon cancer and it was the day after my birthday actually. The day after my 25th birthday is when my dad passed away. And if you guys have been watching like my vlogs or you follow me on social media, then you know a lot about Blue Jays and how I've been seeing Blue Jays all the time and how they show up randomly and I had a really, really crazy story in one of my vlogs talking about how um, I was talking to my dad one night just like in spirit and I told him, I said, dad, if you're the Blue Jay, please 
show me one when I get out of work and I came home from work and it one was sitting right on the chair when I walked outside so it was just like it's crazy so I have a very emotional connection to Blue Jays now um not only for that reason but just growing up my dad really enjoyed Blue Jays as well like when we were kids my dad would always say hey like come look at the Blue Jay outside so Blue Jays are just kind of really important to me and I think I really want to get a Blue Jay tattoo in kind of memoriam and in honor of my dad. Now, I did recently get a tattoo on my arm here in my dad's handwriting of something he always used to say to me. And I absolutely love that tattoo, but I really kind of want to add to that. So I think next year in 2019, I am for sure going to be getting a Blue Jay tattoo. I want it to be very photorealistic. I want the colors to be perfect. Usually I'm more into black and gray tattoos now, but I feel like for this tattoo specifically, I want it to be colored and I want it to look like a Blue Jay like as close to a blue jay as possible without stapling one to my arm you know what i'm saying i obviously still want to get a whole bunch of like portrait tattoos of horror movie characters like chucky pinhead i feel like the blue jay tattoo is definitely going to be something that is next on my list for sure i've already decided where i want it i want to get it on this arm and i want to get it right here just so it's kind of close to this tattoo here and another tattoo that i want to get to kind of add on to that is i want to get i want to get the word chiquitita um tattooed somewhere around the bird or on my arm or something um that is a song by abba that is the version i know chiquitita pretty much means little girl and growing up we used to listen to abba a lot with my dad and again i talked about this story this story in a past vlog or so but that song has i'm very very connected to that song and i love it so i really want to just get chiquitita somewhere on my arm with the blue jay tattoo so those are like my top three goals for 2019 for sure obviously i have a bunch more i want to get but that could honestly go on for years down the road and i have plenty of time to get tattoos but just those three things are the ones that i really kind of want to get done in 2019. Okay, so moving on to piercings. I did talk quite a bit about how I wanted to get a few piercings in 2018. Some of them I didn't get, such as my Medusa. I never got to try body suspension, unfortunately. Um, I never got my inverted belly button. Um, basically, I didn't really get a whole bunch of piercings in 2018. I don't think I actually got any. Wow, that's crazy. I don't think I got any piercings in 2018 aside from getting um, my third nostril pierce again because I have two over here I have my septum and then I have one over here I think that's the only piercing I got I do definitely still want to get piercings for 2019 are they for sure going to happen I don't know maybe they will maybe they won't I still really 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 badly want my Medusa pierce if you don't know what that is it is that little piercing on the upper lip and I have wanted this piercing for years now I think about two years now I have wanted this piercing um, I used to have my Monroe Pierce and I loved it. I had it for about three to four years and then I took it out. And I have just, I've just always really liked the look of Medusa piercings. I think they're sexy. I think they're very flattering. I just, I'm obsessed with it. But because of what I do for work, I am not allowed to have many facial piercings, unfortunately. So that one has always just been very, very difficult to try to figure out how I can get this piercing but keep it hidden at work. And I have talked to a few piercers about it and there are jewelry options for me that I could use for it. I think it's called like the freckle or the beauty mark jewelry, I think it's called. Um, that would definitely be an option, but I'm still really playing with the fact that I want my Medusa pierce. And in 2019, I pray to God something happens. I pray I can get that piercing. Also, of course, I'm always down and always open to getting more ear piercings. But as you can tell by my ears, I am kind of running out of room a little bit on what I could get. Um, I have three low piercings here. I have a conch, rook, tragus, two forward helix piercings. So, I mean, I guess I could get like helix piercings over here, which would be kind of cool. And then on this ear, I don't have too many. So, I have three lobes. I have a date and two helix piercings here. So, I would maybe get like a couple forward helixes here. And I love the look of really, really full ears. I love when ears are just filled with bling and jewelry. I just think that looks really cool. So, that's always just been kind of work in progress, depending on when I feel like 
getting a new ear piercing and healing a new ear piercing because that's just a freaking pain in the ass. I'm also still really thinking about and still really curious about my inverted belly, belly button piercing. If you don't know what that is, I have a normal belly button piercing here and the inverted one would be pierced down here. So you kind of have the look of two. Again, I really like the look of those. I think they're really sexy, but at the same time, I'm very hesitant to get it just because the healing of those are such a bitch and <laughs> I just, I hate healing surgery surface piercings. And then something else that I've kind of been considering getting re-pierced. Now you guys will have to give me your opinion on it, but it's kind of my coworker's fault as to why I want to get this specific piercing again. Um, she got her eyebrow pierced not too long ago and she recently just got it double pierced. So now she has a total of two eyebrow piercings. And every time I see her, it makes me miss my eyebrow piercing so much. If you guys have been subscribed to me for a while, you know about maybe three years ago now, I took out my eyebrow piercing. You can still see the little scar there. And I've kind of been playing with the idea that I kind of want to get that piercing again, just because like, uh, I don't know. I just, I miss it. I loved that piercing. I took it out because of work, because I was so sick of sliding a retainer in and out of it. But I don't know. I'm just like, I really kind of miss it and I kind of want it back. So you guys will have to let me know if you think I should get it back or not, or if you just like my face without it. Other than that, you guys, that is pretty much everything that I have planned, pretty much kind of goals that I have as far as tattoos and piercings go for 2019. I'm really, really excited about the new year. I'm kind of ready for 2018 to be over. It was just kind of a very rocky year for me. Either things were going really, really good or things were really, really bad. So. I'm just kind of excited to take on another year. I'm excited to take on another year with YouTube and with you guys, and I can't wait to show you all of the tattoos and piercings that I accomplish in the new year. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys have any tattoos and piercings planned for the coming year, make sure you leave them down in the comments. Don't forget to give me a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to go down and subscribe as well. But as always, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. I love you guys.